me get set up. Okay. I'm gonna put my knife down. Feeling pretty relaxed today, so I'll put it down over here. Okay, we're gonna start in a seated position. For so many of us, we are carrying a lot of stress through our neck and shoulders. So the first thing we're gonna do is arms out to the side like this, 90 degree angle. All right, you're gonna bring your elbows to the center, sitting nice and tall, and then exhale. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. So notice I'm not arching through my back, ribs are not popping open. So forward and then exhale, squeeze. Okay, we'll do a couple more of these and then we're gonna reach your arms up. Good, so feel the upper back muscles activating here. All right, open it up and then from here, you're gonna reach your arms up, straight up and then elbows down. All right, we'll do five like this. So squeeze the elbows, open it up and then reach and up and down, four more. So we're moving nice and slow. This is just a warm up to activate the upper body muscles, the upper back specifically, shoulders. We're not doing a ton of upper body work here, although we are doing some push-ups. Push-ups are not for you, they're gonna be planks. Last one here, just a little bit guys, just sprinkling it in there. All right, good. Let's drop the arms, ear to one shoulder, any shoulder, gently rolling down to center, over to the other side. Okay, let's open these up. And then slowly back through center, over to the other side. Let's do that one more time, nice and slow, mindfully rolling side to side. All right, and come back to neutral. Let's push back into hands and knees. We're gonna drop our belly down for some cat cows to start. Inhale, looking up. I jinxed it, I jinxed it, and now she's sussy. Okay, and then pulling that belly this by chin to chest. You'll do about four of those moving with breath. Here comes your platter of snacks, darling. Here are your snacks. So mama can work. All right, let's go one more here. Come into neutral spine. You're gonna step your right foot out to the side. Right foot out to the side, toes pointing forward. It's kind of like a one-legged child's pose. Reach your hips back and reach those palms forward. Now you're happy, you're just hungry. All right, from here, pushing forward, shoulders over wrists, but your feet and hands stay where they are. Exhale, back. Good, so we are warming up through the inner thighs, the hips. Let's do that two more times. And last time, keep the hips over your heels, everybody. Walk your hands towards your knees, rising up to your knees. Let's slide the right hand down your right leg, Reaching up and over, shoulders down from your ears. Stretching through the side body. We are gonna be doing some side planking and some sumo squats. So the warm up usually indicates or is a preparation for what you're gonna do in your workout. Let's step the other leg over to the side, other side. Left leg out, toes pointing forward. Reach the hips back, reach the hands forward. Shoulders, sorry, forehead reaching down towards the mat. We're here for just a couple breaths. On your next exhale, you're gonna push forward. Shoulders over wrist and exhale back. Three more times, floating forward and back. This should feel pretty awesome, guys. Hey, tipsters, last one. Hold it at the end here, at the back. Walk your hands to your knees, rising up. Left hand slides down your left leg, reaching up and over. Shoulders down from your ears. Get that amazing stretch all the way down your side body into your hips. And release. Okay, come back to center. We're gonna do some walkouts, okay? We're gonna do five inchworms. Come to standing, actually, sorry. 
I meant to say four on each side. So for people who have been training with me or you've been training for a while, you're going to do one legged inchworms. So you lift one, and for everybody, please try it. And if it doesn't work for you, you'll do two feet down, straight walk out. So one leg and you lift one foot up. Legs are straight. You walk it out to plank. All right, keep that leg lifted. And then you're going to push, walk your hands back, legs straight, come all the way up to standing. So four on each side, all right, four on one side, and then we switch. If it's not good for you, two feet down, we're doing a total of eight. All right, let's get started. One leg lifted, if you can, and let's go. Hinge, walk the hands forward, coming into point, hold for half a second. Let's go, walking back. So this is an awesome warm up for the back of the body, but it's also helping to warm up the shoulders and the core. All right, walking back. And two more. If I'm moving faster than you, do not worry. There will be time to catch up. So move at your own pace. And last one. Last one on this side. Or you are halfway through. If you're doing one-legged, let's switch legs. Ready and go. Straight leg, hinge from the hips, walking forward. Oh, I just realized something. <laughs> we agreed to no inchworms, but not in classes, not in the class environment. Let's go. <laughs> Two on this side and walking back. Inchworms are so funny. People either love them or hate them. We can have a vote at the end of class. Two more guys. I truly love them. I do them almost at the beginning of every class. Last one, there's such a great warm up exercise. Okay, walk it all the way up. Awesome. Okay, let's get those, um, or no, we'll do those after. Okay, so first exercise is gonna be a squat hold. Let's just do 10 squats with your body weight, everybody. So hands at your ears, elbows out, just to warm up, feet squat position. Let's go down and up. So with no weight, you're trying to get your hips between your heels as low as you can go. Okay, try not to cock your head up like this, slightly tucking your chin. Five more, down and up. Getting a little bit lower every time. Chest up, ladies, chest up. Chest up, hips down. And last one. All right, okay. We'll do one more warm up here where your feet go wide in a sumo squat position. All right, hands on the inside of your thighs. Let's bend the knees out. All right, sink nice and low. From here, you already should feel a little stretch through the um, inner thighs. Let's drop one shoulder down to the center, twist looking up. And exhale, switch sides. So this is inner thighs. Also shoulders and back. Good, one more time each side, and then we are going to get started. We got three exercises from standing, two exercises from standing, and then the rest is not work. The two exercises from standing are squats and sumo squats, okay? So grab your baby if you want to use your baby. You're going to hold your baby close to your body. I'm going to leave my baby down there because she's so chilling with her snacks. If you want to use weight, you can have your dumbbells and you're gonna hold them either at your shoulders or at your chest like this, okay? Either works just fine. Again, you don't have to use any weight either, especially if you're just getting back to working out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna squat down and we're gonna hold it for three seconds at the bottom. You can, after three seconds, you're gonna come up halfway and then back down, three second hold. So if that's death, come up all the way and then come down, okay? All right, guys, are we ready? We're gonna go for 10. I know you all just got a couple in there, don't worry. It's just bonus. All right, let's go. Let's come down for three, two, one. Coming up halfway or all the way. Come back down into your deep squat. Three, two, one. Come up halfway or all the way. Coming up all the way gives your legs a bit of a break. 
Do not feel badly about taking that break. Come up halfway or all the way. Let's go. This is four. Coming up. And down. This is six. We're going all the way up to 10. All right, keep going, guys. Three, two, one. Coming up halfway or all the way. Okay, we're gonna do two more. Woo! And last one here. Get down, get down. Three, two, one. Coming all the way up. Nice work. Okay, shake it off. I know you feel those in the in the quads, right? The thighs, which is what we want. Next exercise: feet wide sumo squat. Give your quads a break. It's more inner thighs now. So your toes are pointed out in the direction, sorry, your knees are pointed out in the direction of your toes. Again, weights can be here, baby can be in the center, all right? You're gonna bend the knees out, get nice and low. Good, we're gonna pulse for 20, two, three, four, core is working here. Seven, eight, nine, 10, halfway through. Stay low, control squats. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up just for three breaths. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you, we're gonna come down and do heel lifts. All right, everybody ready? Let's get down. You're gonna lift your heels up now and tuck. Heels up and tuck. Still targeting those inner thighs, quads, glutes, but now we're getting at those calves. All right, we got five more. Stay low. Four, three, two, and last one. All right, release. Let's go down to the mat. What we got? We got push-ups from knees with a shoulder tap. Okay, so January is upper body strength month, okay? We're working on our push-ups. Everybody's gonna do these from knees. You're gonna tuck your tailbone under, squeeze your bum. Hands can be a little wider than your shoulders. You're gonna to try to do a push-up. If the push-ups are like super, super hard, just continue there. If you wanna challenge yourself, you're gonna tap your opposite shoulder and then push up. Tap your other shoulder and push up. If you really want to, you can do these from toes. You've been um, practicing push-ups for a while. Also, if push-ups are not for you, you could just do the shoulder tap. All right, we're gonna go for 30 seconds. Everybody starting in plank position. And let's go wherever you're at. There are lots of options that should work for you. Listen to your body. Don't push through if there's any pain. Keep going, keep going. Looks good, we're already halfway through. Make sure you're breathing out on the way up. Good, everybody throw it on two more. And resting. Nice work, we're gonna come into our side plank position. I'll start on this side. So side plank, if you have issues with your wrists, come to your elbows, wherever you're at. Your elbow or your wrist is slightly on an angle. It's not directly here. Okay, slightly on an angle. You can come to your feet or your knees. Either is fine. You just want to lift the hips up. All right, so from toes or from feet, I personally like to have my top foot in front for a little more stability. Other arm is up. All right, ladies, let's press it up. We're going to dip halfway. All right, dip, dip, dip halfway those hips. Keep lifted through the, uh, the rib cage. Two more here. Last one, hold it at the top. Let's go, reach the top arm under your armpit and then extending up. Inhale, reach and extend up. Keep going, we're going for eight. This is three. Stay lifted in the hips and the rib cage, four. Five, last three, two, 
And last one, lowering down. Other side. Just looking for more food. <clears throat> okay, so whatever formation you took on the other side, let's do that again. All right, everybody lifted. I'm waiting for y'all, where you at? Okay, five little dips here. Halfway, and up, down, and up. It's just tiny little movements. Waking up the obliques. All right, this is the last one. Hold it at the top. Let's reach that top arm under, and exhale, twist. Good, we're going for eight, two, three, Four, five, last three, two, and last one. All right, good stuff. Let's come into child's pose, just to shake the head for a little bit. Okay, so hips back, hands forward. Knees can be wide. All right, that was just a mini child's pose break. Let's come back to hands and knees. We're gonna do some bird dogs. We did this in the upper body class, but just as a warm up. So you can extend your left leg straight out. Right arm, hand at your ear, elbow out. Let's go, you're gonna squeeze elbow and knee in the center. Extend the leg out, open up through the chest and that arm. Good, exhale, squeeze and open, down and up. If you have wrist pain, you can come to knuckles on your supporting side. Let's go three more guys. I mean, ladies, mamas, two, and last one, good. Switching sides, so right leg straight out. Toes can be resting for the first set before we start, not set, for the first one. Hand at your ear, left hand. Let's go. Reach the knee in to elbow. Extend the leg out. Leg is lifted now. Exhale, squeeze and extend. Three. We got five more. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And rest. All right, we're gonna flip it over. Last exercise, all right, for your core, lying on your back with your knees bent. All right, okay, where's your baby? Um, hopefully they're comfortably sitting beside you. You can have your baby in front too on you, but you're doing these, ankle, reaching for your ankle. All right, so walk your heels close to you. If your baby's comfortable, they're sitting on your lap, all right? and your arms can kind of support them from the side. Let's go, your chest is lifted, shoulders and head off the mat. Exhale as you reach for your ankle on each side. All right, so you're feeling this in your whole abdominal wall, but also working those obliques. We've got 15 left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last five, four, three, two, and last one, lower all the way down. Okay, we gotta do that all one more time, guys, and we only got 10 minutes. That means we gotta get up, <laughs> grab a sip of water. I'm gonna turn it to a gallery view now so I can see you guys. Awesome, awesome. Grab a quick sip of water. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use Cali this time. Okay, we got those squat holds, which I mean, I started sweating after the second one. So come on, Cali, you're gonna sweat with me. Okay, ladies, squat holds. Remember, you come up halfway or all the way up. Coming into squat position, everybody ready? Let's go, squat, hold for three, two, one, come up. Halfway or all the way, back down. Three, two, one, and down. You guys look awesome. 
Kelly's like, what are we doing? Why are we hanging out so long, so long down there? Two, one, halfway. This is five, guys. We're halfway through. Coming up, back down, last five. And up, get low. Two, one, coming up. And down, last three, two, one. And back down, last two guys, three, two, one, coming up. And all the way down, three, two, one, all the way up. Good job, Kelly. Good job, ladies. We're gonna walk it up to sumo squats. All right, we've got 20 sumo squat pulses. Remember, your weights, your dumbbells at your shoulders or at your chest. Holding at shoulders strengthens your shoulders. Holding at chest strengthens your biceps. So you choose. Toes out, ready. Let's go, get low. Staying here for one, two, three, Four, try not to lean forward, standing nice and tall. Eight, nine, 10, halfway, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come all the way up. Three second break, well, three breaths. Boop, 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 boop. All right, we're gonna get low again. Let's go, heel taps. Lift those heels up, stay low in the legs. Heels up, heels up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Yes, we're all the way down to the mat now for the rest of the class. Kelly, that was wonderful. You did so good. Okay, you guys sit down now. Sit down, <laughs> sit down now. Cutie pie, push-ups, ladies. We got 30 seconds of push-ups. You know how to do it now. You're gonna choose what works for you. Push yourself if you'd like, all right? To try something harder. If not, just stay where you are. Let's go, 30 seconds. Let's go, push up and shoulder tap. Push up, shoulder tap, let's go. Remember, you can always just hold plank and do the shoulder tap as well. What happened? Do you want my timer? 10 seconds, ladies. Let's check you out. It's looking good. Try not to move the hips side to side. And that's a wrap. That was 30 seconds. More food. Okay, into the side plank. We're keeping it moving. All right, side plank. Either side, let's go. Lift it up, hips up. All right, rib cage, hips lifted. Five half dips, tiny little dips. Two, let's go guys. Four, five, hold it at the top. Let's go, reach that top arm under. Exhale, extend, we got eight of these. Two, three, Last four, three. You ladies look amazing. And last one. Okay, lower down. Flip it over. We're not wasting time. No, five minutes left. We are not wasting time. Hips up, arm up, rib cage lifted. Let's go. Five dips first. Down and up. Two, three, four, hold it at the top. Let's go, reach that arm under, exhale, extend. Feel strong in this position. Three, opening it up, receiving energy, four more. Good, you guys look amazing, three, two, and last one, relax it down. No child's pose break this time. We're in the home stretch. Back to hands and knees. Let's go, extend your left leg out, right arm by your ear or hand by your ear, elbow out. 
Let's go. Squeeze elbow into knee, extending out. You can arch through your back here. Open it up. Good. We got eight. This is two. Three, really squeezing together in the center, working your core. Three more. This is a great strengthening and mobility exercise. Last one. All right, switching it up. Okay, right leg out, left hand out. Let's go, squeeze elbow to knee and extending out. Two. Three, four, almost there. Last three, keep that leg lifted. Two, and last one. Yay. Good stuff, you're gonna flip it over. One last exercise and we got a little yoga cool down for you. So you're gonna lie on your back. Remember we got those ankle reaches. Work in the core. So it's for about 30 counts, okay? So palms facing up. If you have your baby sitting here, feeling supported with your arms on each side. Peel the shoulders off, head off the mat. Let's go. Exhale, reaching for those ankles. Reach past those ankles if you can. Keep the head and shoulders off the mat. Never a dull moment when you got a baby sitting there. Very cute though. Last 20. Three, four, five, don't stop. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Nine. Keep those shoulders off the mat. Head in line with your shoulders. Go cock it up. Six, five, four, three. Two and last one. Yay, we did it. Lower all the way down. Uh, extend your legs out. Let your toes play out for a moment. We got three or four minutes to cool down, guys. Nice work. All right, you're gonna inhale your arms overhead. Reach your toes in the opposite direction. Big inhale here. And exhale, wrap those hands around your knee or your shin. Squeeze that knee into the side of your body. Left leg is heavy on the mat. Good. Let's extend your right arm out to the side and bring your knee across your body for a gentle twist. On an exhale, twisting, looking over your right shoulder. Try to keep both shoulder blades on the mat. And let's come back through center, hugging both knees again. You can roll side to side. <laughs> let's extend your right leg out, wrapping both hands around your left. She turned on the flashlight. How'd you do that? All right, let's extend your left arm up to the side, bring your knee across your body for your twist, looking over your left shoulder. Yeah. Oh my goodness, how fitting. Let's finish with happy baby. So feet to the sky, bending those knees, reaching for your ankles or the bottoms of your feet from the outside of your leg. Bringing the knees into the side of your body. Squeezing, nice inner thigh stretch. Awesome stretch for the lower back as well. Happy babies, guys. Rolling side to side if you like. I hope you all have happy babies today. And if you have older babies, I hope they're happy at home learning. All right, releasing. Rolling over to the side. Come up to a seated position. Let's just do a couple quick stretches from seated, all right? So legs extended out, inhale, arms overhead, and exhale, folding forward. Head and shoulders heavy. All right, slowly rolling up. Bottoms of your feet together, knees wide. 
Holding on to ankles or toes. Inhale, sit nice and tall. Inner thigh stretch. Exhale, folding forward. All right, rolling it up. And you guys are all done for the day. Nice work.